The Liverpool fan favourite has instructed his agent to find him a new club. Liverpool is set to rival Arsenal for the Bundesliga defender, who has made 39 appearances this season. Welcome, my friend. Let's check out the latest news from the greatest club in the world. Thiago Alcantara, Liverpool star, has instructed his agent to find him a new club, according to Football Insider sources. The 33-year-old is not expected to receive an extension at Anfield and will leave when his contract expires at the end of June. Despite persistent injury problems, the midfielder does not intend to retire and faces a tough battle to play again this season. He has only played five minutes in all competitions this season due to various injuries. Thiago joined the Merseyside club from Bayern Munich in 2020, but his time in England has been heavily disrupted by injury. He helped the Reds win the FA Cup in 2022 and is a fan favorite due to his playmaking ability and passing range. But it remains to be seen if he will reach 100 appearances due to injury problems. Thiago received five minutes as a substitute in the league clash against Arsenal in February, his only appearance of the season so far, and that could be his last outing for the Reds, with sources telling Football Insider in February that the club does not expect him to stay beyond the summer. Ruben Amarim admitted that even his son wants him to stay at Sporting Lisbon. The 39-year-old player is the favorite to replace Jurgen Klopp as Liverpool's manager this summer, after former Reds midfielder Xabi Alonso confirmed he will remain at Bayer Leverkusen. While Alonso's team clinched the Bundesliga by defeating Werder Bremen 5-0 on Sunday, Amarim's men are currently close to winning the Liga Portugal title. Sporting defeated Famalicao 1-0 on Monday night putting them seven points ahead of Benfica at the top of the table, with only five games left to play. Having also secured their place in next month's Portuguese Cup final, Amarim and Sporting are focused on their efforts to try to achieve a historic double. But inevitably, the Portuguese coach continues to be bombarded with questions about his future as speculation linking him to Liverpool grows. However, while the Portuguese coach recently insisted he would not answer any more questions from journalists about his future, it seems he might not be able to escape the same question in the sanctuary of his own home. After defeating Famalicão, Amorim was asked whether sporting fans would prefer to win the championship or see the 39-year-old player remain as coach and he revealed that even his own son had questioned him and wants him to stay at the Portuguese club. Both things, he replied, quoted by Ojogo, when asked what the supporters prefer. Even my son asked me for both things, but the important thing is for sporting to be champion. That's what the fans want, and that's what we fight for. Eintracht Frankfurt's defender, William Pacho, is drawing interest from Liverpool and Arsenal to bolster their defenses next summer. At 22 years old, the player has been having an exceptional season for the German national team after joining Royal Antwerp last season. Standing at 1.87 meters tall, Pacho stands out physically in Frankfurt's backline, showcasing formidable strength and athletic ability. Despite his physical presence, the 22-year-old relies mainly on his game intelligence. He not only dominates his opponents in duels, but also demonstrates exceptional ability in making precise tackles and interceptions, rather than approaching situations with pure aggression. His on-field demeanor reveals remarkable discipline and maturity in decision-making, avoiding unnecessary challenges or improper positioning. Pacho's greatest qualities lie in his judgment on and off the ball, making him a modern and complete defender. He prefers to play in possession-based systems and high defensive lines, where he can contribute to build up play from the back. Additionally, he excels as a distributor and maintains composure even under high pressure, elegantly shielding the ball against aggressive opponents. Despite Eintracht Frankfurt's recent dip in form, currently sitting sixth in the Bundesliga, Pacho has played a key role in the team. He has featured in 39 games this season, contributing with one assist. He has only missed one Bundesliga match, showcasing his consistency. Both Arsenal and Liverpool are interested in him with Frankfurt valuing him between 50 to 60 million euros. Liverpool is seeking to strengthen their defense, and Pacho fits the desired profile, but a potential deal depends on the new coach who will replace Jurgen Klopp. Tomorrow, Liverpool will face Atalanta again and will need to recover a large difference to qualify. Klopp's team still has a chance and will have to keep fighting and believing until it happens especially with a player of Trent Alexander-Arnold's caliber returning to the team. How can Trent Alexander-Arnold help solve Liverpool's problems?
Due to Connor Bradley's excellent form, Liverpool hasn't felt Trent Alexander-Arnold's absence as much as before. But the truth is that Alexander-Arnold has been sorely missed. He's simply a special talent, someone who can unlock defenses and win games single-handedly for the Reds. We've seen this season how many times he has secured winning points for Liverpool. From the away draw at the Etihad to the thrilling four. Three victory against Fulham at Anfield. Even against Crystal Palace when he came on for about half an hour, Liverpool had much more control in the game and probably created their best chances in the match. Now that he's back in form, Klopp can finally unleash him. And if he does, Alexander-Arnold could have the same impact as Kevin De Bruyne since returning to Manchester City. Alexander-Arnold is more than capable of making a similar impact. There's a reason why Jermaine Defoe recently called him world-class and compared him to De Bruyne. The numbers also confirm this. According to Wisecout, he leads the following metrics in the Premier League this season. Final third passes, 13.78 per 90. Passes into the penalty area, 6.03 per 90. Progressive passes, 14.87 per 90. Through passes, 3.16 per 90. Let's believe in the strength of the Reds and let's go for that qualification. Thank you so much for being here. Until next time.